I accidentally, I accidentally found the plant-based fridge. I mean, I knew that there was a plant-based fridge in New York, but I never saw it before. That's neat. It's windy and cold and I'm sick of it. You know why? Because it was like 65 degrees a couple days ago. And now when I want to shoot, it's like 32. And I'm gonna shoot outside too. Like I'm planning to shoot this whole last video outside. You see, you see, freezing cold. Anyway, and I didn't wear my winter jacket because I was being stubborn, that's on me. That being said, we've been to a few vegan pastry shops at this point, we've been to a few places with vegan donut options, but what we haven't been to yet is a vegan chocolatier. Chocolatier? Chocolatier, right? Chocolatier? Like a place that makes vegan chocolates? Matthew Kenny, of course, of course he did, um, took over a chocolate shop and turned it fully plant-based, like several months ago. I'm late to the party, as usual. I also don't know how to pronounce it, so let's figure that out together. Casco. 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 What does that mean? What does that mean? Daredevil. Noun, a bold or reckless person, a daredevil. Daredevil chocolates, that sounds so cool. Okay, cool. So, Kesku. So we're on our way to Kesku Chocolates, previously known as Obsessive Chocolate Disorder. Honestly, Daredevil Chocolates sounds so much cooler. Um, I'm walking over. I just ran into the plant-based community fridge. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I make it a point to fill community fridges with plant-based foods. Um, the fridges that I fill aren't strictly plant-based, but I like to provide plant-based options in those fridges. Um, but we do have one fully plant-based fridge in New York. It's hosted by Overthrow, and I think that's pretty neat. Their Instagram is at Overthrow Community Fridge, but let's go taste some chocolates. That GPS is way louder than it needs to be. Oh, one more point before I go. I think I'm gonna try to only spend 20 bucks. Like, it seems excessive to spend more than 20 bucks on just chocolate. I'm nervous to see how many chocolates 20 bucks gets me, because I know this is like a fancy chocolate place. So, make, make your bet down below how many chocolates that 20 bucks will get me. My hands are so cold, but my nails, my nails are popping. Wait, let me wait till the shade. I did those myself. I am so proud of myself. This is a little bit of a brag. I am proud. Maybe I can like buy a tea and then shoot my chocolates in one of these restaurants because they're heated and like insulated from noise and stuff and wind. Oh my God, I love the logo already. I almost like didn't notice them because I didn't see the sign. It was like facing that way. And me thinking this was a bow at first. It's a daredevil mask. I think they're open. Oh yeah, they just opened. Let's go exploring. All right, so I have the goods and a sample of a new chocolate they're coming out with. So we're gonna try all of them as soon as I find a warm place to sit comfortably. Did I find a warm, quiet place? No. Did I find a place to comfortably put my camera? Yes, and I will take what I can take right now. Each chocolate was $3, which means I got seven. I ended up paying $21 for the chocolates. Is that expensive? Yes, but it's more of a present or a special occasion type thing, so it's what I expected. It's like fancy pants chocolate, you know? We have eight flavors to try together because they threw in a chocolate cheesecake Easter flavor that they're playing with. So I don't know if this one's gonna be officially available. Ooh, the wind. We might have to move. Let's move. See, we have here, but then I'm like, do I have to just squat for the entirety of this video? What's with this music? Did I just go home? No, because I want to try the Pete's breakfast sandwich. Now, if you don't know, Pete's coffee has a vegan breakfast sandwich now. Give me a thumbs up for squatting for, for this long of the video. However long I'm about to squat for. I'm gonna treat myself to some chocolate. Okay, this is the chocolate cheesecake one. Wait, okay, so I thought, listen, I thought the bottom just like wasn't filled, right? Like that's why it's a different color than the top. But no, this is the cheesecake crust. That's the cheesecake and the chocolate's on top. The attention to detail. <laughs> Yo. That's freaking delicious. All right, I'm hyped, I'm hyped. Now, should we play chocolate roulette or should I look at the menu? We'll play a little bit of chocolate roulette because there's two chocolates in here that look exactly the same. 
One of these is yuzu, which is like a citrus fruit, and one of them is passion fruit caramel. Which is which, I don't know. Why would they make them the same shape? That's like wildly different flavors. The passion fruit caramel says, Decadent caramel is perfectly cut with a hint of tang and acidity to balance the richness of this bite. And then, for some reason, the yuzu one doesn't have a description on the menu. That's passion fruit caramel for sure. Oh, I love passion fruit. That is so good. And then, this one's gonna be yuzu, I guess. It has that, like, citrusy with a tiny, tiny, tiny air of hint of bitterness from the peel. It's so good. All right, let's see what this square one is. There's a square one with no designs. Oh yeah, this one is Gayandwara, Gayandwara. They told me that that was like hazelnut espresso. Why didn't they call it hazelnut ex espresso? Is that like a thing? Gayandwara. When the chocolate's obviously fancier than you are. The familiar and delicious notes of hazelnut and coffee are paired alongside espresso to create a classic, oh yeah, that classic Gayandwara flavor. That will leave you wanting more. Is that a classic flavor? Define G-I-A-N-D. It's a chocolate paste flavored with ground hazelnuts. Do they mean Nutella? Is that just a fancy word for Nutella? Why didn't they just say Nutella? Does not taste like Nutella. Kind of like espresso chocolate fruity. Light fruity, light fruity. Now the lighting is just completely messed up. What is next? What is next? We have a square with a crisscross pattern on top. Alright, let's see. Is that chai latte? Wait a minute. Oh, I messed up. What I just had was chai latte. That's why it didn't taste... That's why it tasted kind of fruity. This makes so much more sense. Okay, this one is the one that I can't pronounce. Straight up espresso. Delicious. Oh, I really like this one. Espresso, no, this tastes like espresso Nutella. That is so good. This one's my favorite so far. Now we have one that I don't think I'll like, but I got it for shits and giggles. Can you guess what it is? Oh, it's the color of my nails on the inside. At least it might be, because it's matcha. It is literally the color of my nails. Oh, at first that matcha taste was not that strong. It is very strong but I kind of like it. Tastes like grass, but in like a good way. That's great. We have only one left. Oh no, we have two left. I was getting sad already. Oh, this one I'm excited for. Two super interesting flavors. Two super interesting flavors. Are you ready? This one, pistachio saffron caramel. And if you thought that's crazy, miso toasted soybean powder. I'm gonna leave the miso one to the end because that's like the craziest in my opinion. And the lighting is bad, we're moving again. Back to squats, okay. Pistachio saffron caramel. Oh, oh my God, this is so good. Maybe this one's my favorite. That's saffron caramel, that's pistachio. Holy shit. And last but not least, miso soybean powder. Miso, miso soybean powder. I'm nervous. Very good. Kind of like salty caramelly. Not strange at all. Delicious. These were the strangest, but most delicious chocolate flavors I've ever had. Something to gift like for a tea party or to feel cultured or fancy or just to treat yourself. <gasps> My battery's dying. Guess who was not a dum-dum and brought an extra battery this time? Me, as I was saying. While it was pricey, it did not disappoint. If you're the kind of person who likes to go on a little flavor adventure, who likes to just taste interesting things, I would definitely recommend it. Or if you like to give flavor experiences as a gift, 100%, like go for it. The chocolates are delicious, fully vegan, and I think now like the second vegan chocolate spot we have in New York. For a second earlier, I forgot about confectionery, but confectionery isn't only chocolate, like they're chocolate and baked goods. This place is literally only chocolate. They had that small little thing of chocolates and that's it, which is which is ballsy. It's ballsy to be paying New York City rent 
to sell a small selection of chocolates. I wish them the best and I definitely recommend you go ahead. That being said, I've decided that I've not had enough of an adventure today. Um, and we're toning down the bougie for a minute to take a stop at Pete's Coffee Shop. It's a little bit of a walk away, but I'm gonna head over because I really wanna check out their new breakfast sandwich. I just looked up the sandwich online and it's an everything bagel with cheese, just egg, and a Beyond Meat patty. <laughs> that will warm my freezing hands for sure. Oh no, is the coffee place in this building? Oh my god, it might be part of NYU. Of all the coffee places I could have chosen. They have like more than one location. Of course I chose the one inside NYU. Is this even open? All right, so it turns out the Pete's that I chose to go to is inside NYU in a building that's closed that's in a franchise that's not even the real Pete's, so it probably doesn't even have new items. And the next nearest Pete's is half a mile away, so we're not gonna go, and I'm gonna end this shit right here. I will eventually try that sandwich though, because it looks good. <sighs> that means that unfortunately, that is all we have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And I will be trying the Pete's sandwich eventually, so stay tuned for that, and goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, and Andrew. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.